Psychology case study number five. A 40-year-old woman comes into therapy. She says she has no idea what's wrong with her. She's been to multiple doctors, gotten tons of labs, and everything comes back normal. Different doctors have different opinions, but no clear answers. Then she says something that really stands out. She experiences full paralysis in her right arm, but only when she's being criticized by her boss. She's embarrassed by it, she doesn't understand it, and it sometimes also happens when she feels like someone in her personal life is really upset with her. So she goes out of her way to make sure everyone is happy, just to avoid the paralysis. She doesn't use any substances, she has no flashbacks, she also has no traumatic memories that she can recall. So based on all of this, what is the most likely diagnosis and how do we treat it? It's not PTSD. Yes, it's related to stress, but there's no evidence of flashbacks or re-experiencing symptoms. It's not somatic symptom disorder either. Why? Because this isn't about misinterpreting body sensations. In her case, the paralysis is actually happening. And this is also not malingering. The symptom is real, it's not fake, and it's also not voluntary. Her nervous system isn't damaged, but it shuts down under stress. That's what functional means in this diagnosis. So the most accurate diagnosis here is conversion disorder, also known as functional neurological symptom disorder. So how do we treat it? Start by identifying what triggers it. Next, teach the stress tolerance skills for when the stressor hits. Then build a hierarchy of those triggers and work your way up, exposing her gradually while managing the stress.